All right, so in this problem, we are going to analyze this function by plotting two points on a graph and analyzing the function and the statements given. All right, so the first step into plotting our function, we have to find two points on our graph. And so we are going to use our intercepts, and that is going to be when a equals 0 and when b equals 0. So when we plug in 0 for a, we have 0 equals 2b minus 4, and we can add 4 to both sides equals 2b and divide 2 on both sides in order to get b equals 2. So that's going to be our first point when a equals 0 and b equals 2. Now we're going to find our second point when b equals 0. So let's plug that in. We have a equals 2 times 0 minus 4 and we have a equals negative 4. So that's going to be our second point. Now let's quickly sketch a graph on our, pa on our paper. And we're now going to label our axes. So our, when we read our answers, all of our answers are referring to different values for b. And therefore, we're going to set b equal to our x-axis and a to our y-axis because they are referring to a as either being positive or negative. So we're going to see according to the values of b if the function is in the top half of the graph or in the bottom half of the graph. All right, but again, um, just like in the first explanation video, the labeling of the axes do not matter. You can label them also A and B, whichever way you prefer. All right, so now let's plot our two points. We have A equals 0 and B equals 2, so that's going to be right around here. And our second point is when B equals 0 and A equals negative 4, so that's going to be around here. So now let's connect these two points to see our linear function. Alright, so now that we have our linear function, let's take a look at our answers. When the value of b is less than 2, so let's go to the value of b as 2, and less than 2 is this direction, a is positive. Well, we see that all the a values are actually negative once we go to the left side of 2, and therefore a is incorrect, and now we can move on to b. b states, when the value of b is greater than 2, so 2 is here and greater than 2 is in this direction, then a is negative. Well, we see that all the a values are positive once we cross to the right-hand side, and therefore b is also incorrect. c states when the value of b is less than 2, so this is the other direction going this way, then a is negative. Well, this is true because once we cross to the left-hand side of 2, all the a values become negative and therefore C will be the correct answer. And let's see why D is incorrect. D states when the value of B is greater than four, so that's around here, greater than four is in this direction, then A is negative. Well, we see that all the A values keep growing once we move further to the right of the B values, and therefore the A will also become more positive and not negative. Therefore B, uh, D is also incorrect, and C will remain our final answer.